like a hell cut. Hey everybody, this is Rick from Scorpion Brothers, and today we're doing a feeding on our African praying mammoths. Feeding her a horned Worm caterpillar. Pick these little things up just today. you notice the praying mantis is bobbling from side to side. 
that is basically it's London strategy for making itself look like a stick in the wind. So other predators that would eat the praying mantis doesn't go after it as a uh, food. Praying mantis is a large and fierce species of mantis. It is commonly kept as a pet because of its size and its fierce hunting technic techniques and is relatively easy to care for.
their nature habitats lie in sub-Sahara Africa. This species of praying mantis is usually green but also a beige brown variety. The difference in color is mantis is mainly due to environment in which in which they are kept. The brown variety can have beautiful purple eyes as they can see as you can see in some pictures on Google. This one is the largest species of praying mantis and is being successfully kept in captivity. Females range about 8 centimeters long. Males are about 6 to 7 centimeters long. Males are thinner with wings that are slightly larger than their body. Females are larger with wings that are extended down to the end of their abdomen. On their wings, they have yellowish dots. Females can handle a very large prey. Males can sometimes be a bit intimidating by very large prey such as locusts. So it is better not to give them extremely large prey. When the adults of this species feel threatened it may raise its wings and move front arms side to side to expose its orange colored area. If you're wanting to keep one of these animals, ideal temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius. About the, but the temperature between 22 and 30 degrees Celsius is perfect too. At night temperatures can allow to drop to 17 degrees Celsius to ensure proper development. When exposed to temperatures below 5 Celsius, the mantis may not survive. This mantis species does not have a high demand, high demands on humidity, but it is important to spray about two times a, a week to allow the mantis to drink. A target air humidity is about 50 to 60 percent. As with all species of praying mantis, this mantis needs a cage that is at least three times the length of the animal's height and two times the length of its width. For an adult, this means 24 centimeters in height, 16 centimeters width. A nice size for terrarium would be a 30 by 20 by 30. <coughs> so there is room for the lots of fake plants to perch on. If you ever decide that you want to breed this species, the adult female is about the largest species and behavior than and heavier than the males. The difference between male and female is from L4 as the sexes have different n number of segments on the abdomen. Approximately two to four weeks after it molts, in which 
the mantis becomes adult. Mating attempts could be made. Make sure the female eats very well before you put the male into her enclosure as the female can be very aggressive to the male. Mating can take several hours. The male must sub subsequently be removed from the residence if you want him to live, as the female will eat the male after mating. Each mantis, when they have an egg sac, can be anywhere from 200, 100 to 200 little babies, which are pretty cute.